we are sharing important health news with you. Just like with mammography for breast cancer screening and colonoscopy for colon cancer screening, a test has been approved that can find lung cancer at an early stage. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death worldwide for both men and women. Research shows that screening the right people can save lives. The benefits of screening are greatest for people who are at the highest risk for lung cancer. Screening can find lung cancer at an early stage when it is much easier to treat, substantially increasing the chance of surviving the disease. And importantly, when screening finds lung cancer in its earliest stage, there is a very good chance that it can be cured. Because of your age and smoking history, you likely have a higher risk of getting lung cancer. It is important for you to talk to your healthcare provider about this test and whether lung cancer screening is right for you. The good news is that this screening test for lung cancer is quick and painless. It requires no needles or dye. Typically, your clothing can be left in place and there's no need to limit eating or drinking prior to the test. Lung cancer screening takes about 10 minutes and the actual scan only takes a few seconds. Here's how it works. A machine called a CT scanner takes 3D X-ray pictures of your lungs using a small amount of radiation, also called low-dose CT. This level of radiation is a little more than a chest X-ray, but is much lower than other types of CT scans. Currently, this screening test is the only one that can find lung cancer early, which allows for more treatment options to save lives. As with all cancer screening, this test is not perfect. Some cancers may still be missed, some scans may show spots in the lung that look suspicious, but may not be cancerous. These are called false positives. Similar to moles on your skin, your lungs may have nodules or spots that are watched that are normal or non-cancerous. When needed, your healthcare provider may recommend additional testing to determine if you have cancer. Lung cancer can be aggressive and advance quickly between stages. This is why it is important to be tested annually until you are out of the recommended age range or for as long as your healthcare provider recommends. Regular screenings will let healthcare providers see if spots in your lungs are stable and whether any changes over time may be more suspicious for cancer. Screening for lung cancer before symptoms appear is important. Without it, most people don't see signs of the disease until it is spread to other areas of the body, making it harder to treat. If you have other health conditions that increase your risk of lung cancer, such as a diagnosis of COPD, a family history of lung cancer, or job exposure to cancer-causing agents like radon and asbestos, tell your healthcare provider and find out if a low-dose CT scan is right for you. Lung cancer screening with a low-dose CT scan is recommended by leading advocacy, government, and medical groups, including GoTo for lung cancer, federal government agencies, the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, and the American Cancer Society. For individuals who meet the high-risk criteria, low-dose CT screening for lung cancer is covered annually by Medicare and most private insurance plans at 100%, with no out-of-pocket cost, just like mammograms and other screening tests. However, additional testing and follow-up scans between screenings, if needed, may have a cost, such as a copay or deductible. Ask your healthcare provider if your insurance covers the test. If you smoke, it's still important to consider quitting. You might think it doesn't matter, but there are many benefits to quitting. Your healthcare team can provide resources to help you. Don't be afraid to ask your healthcare provider or call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for support. Don't wait. Talk to your healthcare provider about low-dose CT screening and if it's right for you. It could save your life. Made possible by GoTo for Lung Cancer. With support from Hilary Deskins, Michael Gieske, Mary Pasquinelli, and Douglas Wood.